like, like. and subscribe. And subscribe. Welcome to Saints at Manahawkin United Methodist Church. Today we have a very special guest. Her name is Millie Plant, whom I dearly love, and uh, we are glad to have her. Now, uh, tell us about how you came to Manahawkin United Methodist Church after you retired, right? You retired into Manahawkin. Well, actually, we bought the house here in 1958. 1958. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we, we had been looking around all the lakes up in North Jersey looking for a house oh. because the house that we had with East Orange, we knew that whenever Jim retired or left the job, needed we, we needed retire. a place to go. That's right. So we had been looking around the lakes because we had both been lake people, uh -huh. you know, up in North Jersey. Yeah. And then we saw an advertisement for Beach Haven West in the newspaper Wow. and just decided to take a ride down and see what where it was yeah. and what it was about. That's right. And we uh, fell in love with the house in the area, and that day put a deposit on the house. Wow, how about that? 1958, that's when they just started building the I houses on it, Beach Haven West? It was probably a year or two into the development. Mm -hmm. It was very small at that time. Oh, not many houses like no. we have now. No. Oh. No. Yeah, so we, we went back home and told our friends we bought a house, but we didn't know where it was. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it far to drive from, you know, the it, living At that time, it was probably two and a half hours. <gasps> wow. Yeah. Did, you, did you have a parkway at the time or not? The parkway was not completed this far down. Oh. Part of it, we came on the parkway. Oh, but, then Route 9 mostly. But then we had to take Route 9 the rest oh, of the way. Oh, I see, I see, mm -hmm. I see. Wow. Yeah. So uh, when did you just get connected to this church? You came down we, here in 1958, but... We, we would come uh, when we were here on the weekends and, and summers, we would come here. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, and then when we, when we finally <clears throat> moved down here in 1958, uh, we automatically came here, and uh, Ruth and Jim Farley came and visited. And, oh, really? And, uh, yes. No, tell me again, you said that... Uh, you you bought the house in 1958, but what year did you retire? 1985. 1985. Yeah. That's when you finally came down. And who was the minister at the time of this? Jim show? Hofacker. Oh. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, Ruth and Far Ruth and Jim Farley came and uh, you know told us about the church and invited us. Oh really? Us to How come. did you get to know the the, the Follies? Uh, it, I think they were on some committee here that went to visit new people in the oh. area. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so they they came for a visit, and then uh, Jim Hofacker came and told oh, us, gave us options, you know, about uh, part-time or full-time or whatever, and and uh, asked us to join the church. So Part-time, full-time members? Yeah. What is that? Well, well to, to be... Uh, I, I don't know exactly what he meant, but we could we could keep our membership in Livingston. Oh, and and, and attend occasionally here. attend here as a part time. Yeah. yeah. But uh, transfer your membership and become a full member. It's a yes. full time. Yeah. So that's what we decided to do, and oh. and uh, we just came here ever since. <laughs> Wow, 1985. Can you remember back then, Manhattan Methodist Church, how it was, how different it was from today in the 21st century? I mean, in terms of... Uh, I think it was pretty much the same then as it is now. <laughs> <laughs> no, somehow I had a notion, uh, average Methodist congregation in 1960s and early 70s, they were booming and doing well. Then we just gradually declined oh. over time. I, I I wasn't involved with the, mm. you know, with the workings of the church. Then I just came on Sundays. And, oh, I see, yeah. I see, I see. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can yeah. Can you remember the the uh, good old time members back then when you were, in nineteen eighties, nineteen nineties? Oh yeah. Yeah. Follies yeah. and who else? John Haig and Susan Haig were there too. They were uh, much younger, I guess. Yes, but I guess we still had the two services, and I always went to the 11. Oh, what so was the first? Oh, 8.30? The, the 8.30 service. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. 
Ruth Ramello was very active in the church, and she lived in my neighborhood. Oh. And the first winter that I was here, she asked me if I would like to help her work. She was work. They were, they were going to do the church bazaar, and she asked if I would like to help her with the white elephants. Mm. So of course I worked on that every year up until <laughs> until now, <laughs> three, till three years ago <laughs> when right. we stopped having we stopped, the bazaar. Yeah, that's true, right? Yeah. Now that means that you're actively involved in uh, United Methodist Women. Now we yes. changed the name, but yes. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right. Thank you. And I have uh, one last question, which is the life principles that you live by. You know, always you abide by these uh, principles, or even you'd like to give word of wisdom to our future generation. I don't know. I've I've tried to. And live, live by the golden rule. Golden rule. You know, it's just uh, funny that yeah. your generation, uh, I interviewed about 12 people, at least three or four people, they all say mm -hmm. golden rule. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the, the focus of when you were growing up, like confirmation class, whatever. I guess maybe, yeah. <laughs> and then my parents always taught us too yeah. not to, if, if you can't say something nice to don't or about somebody, don't yeah. say anything at all. That's right. You know, you just don't want to hurt anybody else's feelings or uh, anything. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Those are the very uh, great, you know, principles, yeah, wisdom there, too. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, um, how many, uh, <clears throat> you have now two, you know, surviving children, but mm -hmm. how many grand grandchildren you have? I have six grandchildren. And? And four great grandchildren. Four great grandchildren. Yes. Wow. Yeah. They all spread, right? They're not in New Jersey. I have one. Uh, my daughter Diane and her family moved to South Carolina. Mm -hmm. So three of the children are hers, and one one of the great grandchildren mm -hmm. is hers, mm -hmm. and the others are in North Jersey. Oh, they are. Okay. Yeah. My granddaughter Courtney has th the other three children. Uh -huh. So. I, the, uh, to make the four great grandchildren. Uh huh. I see. Mm -hmm. I need to straighten the number again. Two children and six, six grand six, six grandchildren. grandchildren and four great grandchildren. Right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought. Okay, that's good. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's the uh, the. I have one last question. Then you know, if you have anything else, you can say more. What was the impression when you first got here? I mean, Ruth and Jim Bali invited you to come to our church mm -hmm. and so forth. What was your impression that? Well, I, mean, I had I had been coming for many years, you know, before, before that on yeah. weekends. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. I was just impressed that everybody was so friendly. Ah, so yeah. friendly. Yeah. 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 This church is known as you know church so friendly mm -hmm. to others. Yes. All right. Everybody made made me feel welcome and That's great. That's yes. Great. Yeah, that's great. That's great. All right. Anything else you have would like to share with us? I can't think of anything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I just wanted to tell uh, the the audience here. Uh Millie has a very sharp mind, I must say. And she's still serving as the uh, recording secretary for our church council. And uh, she, you know, writes down and she produces very meticulous uh, the minutes. And uh, I always rely on it. Sometimes I just uh, ashamed that her memory is better than mine. So <laughs> anyway, uh, it is our honor and privilege to have Millie today with us. And uh, thank you, Millie, again. And uh, oh, you're very welcome. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Yeah. So this will conclude our recording today. God bless. Bye now. Welcome to Saints at Manahawkin United Methodist Church. We have a very special guest today. Her name is Dorothy Adams. You know, tell us about your uh, childhood, growing up years. Okay. Well, I was born in 1930 in the middle of the Depression. Wow. <laughs> uh, in July, my mother said, I was born at home, and Mom says it was the hottest day of the summer. <laughs> <laughs> hottest day of the summer. Uh,